Hi, my name is Nick Matuma. I'm an actor, filmmaker. Uh, lately, I, I like to call myself a storyteller. So yeah, we just bring stories to reality. Uh, my relationship with the ocean is, um, it's one that uh, goes as far back as 1996. I uh, actually grew up in a coastal city, Dar es Salaam, which is uh, right, next, right next to the ocean. And, um, you know, the ocean provided a place for us to play. It was recreation. We ate a lot of seafood. Um, and there's just something very therapeutic about just, you know, spending family time next to the beach. Um, so I, I, have a, uh, I have a love and appreciation for the ocean and, um, you know, what it provides for the community. Now, when it comes to Kenya, I... Uh, you know, I love spending time at the coast as well, whether it's Pipingo, Diani, Mombasa. And, um, you know, it would be wrong of me not to appreciate what the ocean does for our people in terms of, um, you know, providing a source of income, in terms of uh, uh, providing food for the people. Um, even tourism now is, uh, is a big, um, income earner for our economy. I am concerned about how our ocean is being treated. Um, I think there needs to be a bigger effort into conserving our ocean and it needs to come from us young people because if we are not taking care of the ocean then who will, you know? The ocean is, uh, it's where we find food. It, it's also providing um, it's a place where we're making money, you know, so it, it's and it's just I mean, it's just a place where we can we also just enjoy and, and celebrate. So I think that there needs to be a more deliberate effort in into us looking after it. As a young person, I'm definitely concerned about um, how our ocean is being taken care of, the conservation of our oceans. Um, it, you know, it's the ocean is, 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 is a special place. It provides food uh, for our people. There's a lot of money that comes from tourism that's generated from our oceans. So it's important that we take care of it. It's important that um, a deliberate effort goes into looking after our ocean. And it's up to us young people to, to own that space. Um, I'm sure you're all aware about the blue economy and um, just the fact that, you know, there's a lot of money that's generated from the ocean. So if the fish die, for example, you know, that, that will affect millions of people, you know, and not only with, um, you know, a lack of food, but also just, you know, a, a lack of making income. So it's, it's, uh, it needs to be looked after, it needs to be protected. Um, and uh, we are the ones to do it. So I'm a father to a three-year-old girl and uh, we went to the coast the other day and she saw this massive rock and she asked me, Daddy, what, was th what, is, what is this? And I told her it's coral. Um, and you know, a thought hit me that, you know, this coral was dead. And you know, it's just lying on the beach and you know, young people like my daughter may not even get to see real coral alive. It's a scary thought um, because we as humans are, you know, we're ruining the, the ecosystem in the ocean. So if we want future generations to enjoy what we have had the privilege to enjoy, I think it's really vital, it's, it's um, imperative that we protect our ocean. And as young people, it's up to us to take charge, you know. It's, it, I feel like it's just a matter of just educating ourselves a little more and just spending a little more time. And also, a government effort that is aimed towards empowering young people with this knowledge um, about, the, about the ocean and about <clears throat> the value that comes with it. Because I feel like sometimes people just don't know. Um, so, yeah, my message to young people would definitely just be to be ambassadors of change and to just, you know, uh, take it upon themselves to, to
to take care of the ocean you know very little efforts go a long way you know collecting uh, little plastic bags that are on the ocean um, makes a world of difference you know it's not it's not necessarily you know the big things but the but I will challenge you know the government to also just you know facilitate in in, in creating programs that that not only educate young people about uh, conserving the ocean but also um, you know programs that uh, that that perhaps even teach young people how to fish the correct way you know um, you know programs that uh, that educate young people on how to carry out whatever activities they want to carry out in the ocean but in a way that doesn't affect the ocean